The Assemblies of God, History, Missions, and Government, a class overview by Amanda Critchfield. Today, we will be discussing the history, missions, beliefs, and structure of the Assemblies of God. The Assemblies of God began in Hot Springs, Arkansas in 1914. Prior to the formation of the Assemblies of God, Pentecostalism was birthing in the U.S. and around the world. The Azusa Street Revival of 1906 in Los Angeles was led by William J. Seymour. Those who attended these revival meetings were baptized in the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. Christian communities all over the world were seeking this baptism of the Holy Spirit. As Pentecostalism spread, many Christian churches rejected these teachings and practice. Pentecostals saw the need to organize. The first General Council of the Assemblies of God met in Hot Springs, Arkansas in 1914. They created a headquarters in Findlay, Ohio, which then moved to St. Louis, and then finally to Springfield, Missouri. The young movement grew quickly. In 1916, just two years after the establishment of the Assemblies of God, there were 118 churches. In 1964, there were almost 8,500 churches, and in 2010, there were nearly 12,500 churches. Today, there are over 3 million adherents within the U.S. Assemblies of God has developed many national-level ministries for children, youth, women, and men. National missions ministries reach out to college students, Native Americans, those in substance addiction, and many more. Foreign missions has always been part of the DNA of the Assemblies of God. In fact, in 1914, the Young Fellowship committed itself to the greatest evangelization the world had ever seen. Missionaries were sent out around the world, and churches, hospitals, orphanages, and schools were established. The AG has been committed to establishing self-propagating, self-governing, and self-supporting national churches. Worldwide, there are over 64 million people in 255 countries part of the Assemblies of God movement. In 1989, the World Assemblies of God Fellowship was formed to bring greater unity within the many national churches. Four functions of the World AG Fellowship is to provide doctrinal oversight with its theological commission, encourage the formation of strategic missions partnerships with its missions commission, sharing resources among churches and ministries through the Relief and Development Agency, and advocating for those suffering under religious persecution by petitioning governments and other organizations. The Assemblies of God doctrine is Protestant, Trinitarian, Evangelical, and Pentecostal. The AG has 16 fundamental truths that outline the Bible as our foundation, Jesus as our salvation, the Holy Spirit as our empowerer, and the second coming as our motivation, among several other core beliefs. The AG has maintained biblical leadership and accountability models while allowing freedom within each local faith community. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. The pastor is God's appointed leader of the church. The board, or elders, is given to the pastor to assist him or her in their leadership. The members of the church partner with the vision of the pastor. Every AG church has bylaws that determine how the church will be governed. Members of the church select their pastor and board members by vote, and there is typically a business meeting once a year where church members may vote on certain items. The AG is divided among 67 districts, where district leaders serve the ministers and ministries within their district. The General Council of the Assemblies of God serves the entire AG body through organizing missions, producing Christian curriculum, overseeing the AG colleges and universities, credentialing ministers, and providing leadership for national ministries and programs.